Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Clary Berry, and I'm here to do a Divine Feminine Friday reading. I'm going to start doing Divine Feminine Feminines on Friday, just, uh, well, for numerous reasons, actually. Um, so, I am here in my car on my lunch break, and so it's going to be a little bit different of a reading. We're not going to have our overlying um, oracle cards, and it's going to be a little bit shorter of a reading, so it's like Fast Friday. Feminine Fast Friday. So I hope you guys are doing great, and I hope this re reading resonates with you. This is going to be um, like a Twin Flame type of reading as well. Twin Flame Friday, Feminine Friday. So again, welcome to the video, and I'm just going to jump right in. Okay, and again, this is just like overlying energy and lessons that the Spirit wants to tell us. Okay, so love is definitely on our mind this weekend, I feel like. Love, passion, sharing with our partner, that intuitive sense of that pull that just draw, that, that draws you to your twin flame, the connection that you guys have. Focusing on the positives is really important, especially if you're not in union with your partner and you really want to have a better relationship. You want to have a more steady relationship. If you want to have... I mean, just all of those good feelings. It's 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 pretty simple when it comes down to it. What you focus on flourishes. If you focus on the negative, that's what you're going to get. That's what you're going to be on. You you can't focus on all the negative things from the past. You can't. You just can't do that. You have to focus on what you want. You have to focus on if you are thinking about the past. Think about all the good things out of the past. Draw that out, and use that to create more positive energy for the future. Think about how strong your connection. Think about the times when you felt, when you did feel such a strong connection. Think about all the times, you know, when you were sure, when you, you know, because it is it is natural to have some kind of wavering, you know, and have some doubts arise. But the thing is, is that, again, if you focus on the negative, you're going to have a lot more of those doubts. And if you focus on the positive, you're going to be able to push those doubts away very, very easily. So I feel like... Also, ask your guides to help and ask your guides to help both of you and, and both of you come together, you know, for a common cause and to share. Okay, focus on, the, focus on the positive feelings. Wow. So we got the two of cups and then we got the lovers. Happy Friday, you guys. Hopefully, you are able to meet up with your partner this weekend. Okay, I see it as a very fruitful time for you guys to meet up and just enjoy each other's company. You know, and if you haven't seen each other for a while, don't waste time trying to rehash everything that happened in the past. Peace. Extend the olive branch. If you know that this is your person, if you know this is your twin flame, don't waste your time. Again, focus on the beautiful. Focus on the fun, the positive, the feeling, the connection. And... Focus on yourself, of course, first, inside and out, you know, fo get ready, you know, get yourself prettied up, get yourself, make yourself feel good physically here is what I'm getting to, like, do your hair, you know, put on some lip gloss, whatever, and also don't be afraid to show your, well, in doing this, I feel like you are showing your partner how much you've changed and you're inspiring them to change on both inner and outer levels and both like a mental level or like a, a conscious level and an unconscious level. It's the, you know, it's the mystery. It's the divine. And that's where, that's what everything flourishes from. That's where all the abundance comes from. Okay. So this is great. This is really, really good. A lot of passion, a lot of passion. And, you know, for some of you, it's going to be truly like great sex, you know, and I'm not saying like it's going to happen this weekend, but it's on your mind and it's going to happen soon. And, you know, if you're not with your partner, you could just, just think about that. Just spend some time, you know, kind of meditating and imagining and visualizing, you know, maybe perhaps while you're pampering yourself, you know, hit it, hit it up with a double whammy really just 
get your mind right, get your intentions right, and, and focus on that fire. Focus on the fire of the twin flame. And you got this, and that's what's going to bring your partner closer. This is not focusing on, oh, what he needs to do to get you back, and, you know, all the things he did wrong, and how you can protect yourself. That's living out of fear. That's, wor that's working out of fear, and that is the same thing you have always done, probably. So those are the things that are going to get you the same results. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again. Try something new. Try this try this that's how I know too like yeah it's a little bit controversial you have these videos Sophia Charles is always ranting and raving and all these people who are you know they're obviously having issues they're asking her for help but then they doubt her and they say you know oh this doesn't work well the reason I really am able to follow this stuff wholeheartedly and talk about it here is because as soon as I started hearing about this I made positive connections you know positive steps forward with my partner so and it, it was even during a really hard time like right before I found the twin flame community you know I had we had a, a third party uh, situation and it was really really difficult you know and my partner chose me but still it was it's obviously still difficult so don't let anything like that don't let all your just the main thing is don't let your um don't let any of that drama get in the way of this passion this passion you may think oh you know it's only sex he's only using me for sex he you know it's shallow if you think it's shallow it's gonna be shallow you can't view the sex that way why would you view the sex that way with your twin flame the sex with your twin flame is amazing right that's why you're that's part of the reason how you know that's part of the reason why they are your twin flames because you can't it's just not the same with anybody else you always come back to each other eventually you know you may have periods of separation but you always come back and there's always that flame and even if you are them as with somebody else you're thinking you know a lot of times you're gonna be coming back and thinking about the twin flame because that's who you're really supposed to be with and you're and if you're on your if you're on your task and if you're looking inward and doing the inner work then you know your angels are going to help you even more and you're going to be able to overcome any of those obstacles and you're going to be able to like get to high heights and you're also going to be able to go to the deep depths you know of the inside of your heart and you're going to be able to move forward regardless okay so let's move on we have um eight of pentacles show you the deck we have here Okay, we've been working, we've been like honing our craft and this has to do with not just like, oh, a job, uh, you know, something that, this is like what, this is like our purpose. This is our mission. This is what, this is our spiritual work too. We've been working. We're just getting better and better, elevating mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, all of the above. We are here to be healthy and happy and blissed out we are wired for that if we only get out of our own way and let it happen believe it okay yeah if you're not in a place where you feel like everything I just said you're moving you're moving towards that quickly and if you're not again like if you don't feel it have that passion for it if, you know if you don't know what your passion is you need to figure it out and then work on it, work on it every day. The more you work on whatever it is that you need to be working on, you know, because it's gonna bring you bliss. It's gonna it's gonna make you happy. You're gonna crave that, like, a, like something you just ate, like a food, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to do this again. And that's how I feel about this channel and about tarot right now and learning about the twin flame, you know, journey and all of this different stuff. That's how I feel. That's the number one. The, the, the passion with your partner will come after you work on yourself and your mission. I feel like the mission is a little bit underrated. It's a little bit underrated here. A lot of people are just so, we're so obsessed. We get so obsessed with our partners. We need to be obsessed with ourselves. You obsess about something and you get desperate and you push it away. That's the law of attraction. You gotta have positive feelings. You gotta have that happiness. Feel those feelings of, you know, joy and happiness and connection and even lust and you know passion and connection with your partner feel that and that'll move you closer to that 
and follow your passion. If you don't know what your mission is, follow your passions. Again, whatever makes you happy, whatever you just crave to do. Somehow, that's what you're supposed to be doing. And make sure it's pure. Make sure it's something that you really want. Make sure it's not one of these social conditioning things. You know, where you, you're just going through the motions because, oh, you're copying somebody else. Or that's what you always thought. You know, that's what your family does. That's what you, your friend does. That's what so-and-so does. So you think you have to do that? No. You do what you have that burning passion for. That is so, so, so important. And when you have that passion, when you find that passion, when you not only find it and know what it is, but you're following it. You're following that passion every single day and it's going to move you towards getting better and getting better and getting better at it. And that's going to move you towards feeling abundant, being abundant, getting the attention of your partner and they're going to say, wow, look at how much they're, they've improved. Look at them getting better and it's going to inspire them to get better. Body, mind, soul. Body, mind, spirit, soul, emotions. All of it. Okay, so again, abundance is everywhere. Do not have the lack mentality. Abundance is everywhere. Love is everywhere. Good health is, is again, it is our birthright. We are wired for this. We are not wired to be 400 pounds. We are not wired to be miserable. We are not wired to sit in a chair all day and stare at the TV programming, programming our brains, programming, you know, uh, brainwashing us basically. That is not divine. That is not what we are here to do. Move your body. Treat yourself like a child. If you're always operating out of fear, this is a big thing for me this whole week has been intention. Intentions, intentions, intentions. You'll see it in my videos coming through. Make sure that you're operating out of love and, and what makes you feel good and not fear. What makes you feel good if it's true, if it's pure, that's love. That's goodness. When you hold on, when you hold on, when you try to protect what you think you have, what you, you know, when you try too hard. And this again is also trying to hold, obsess over your partner. You're just obsessing, you're just trying to hold on to their, you know, and you're not setting the boundaries that you need to set too. That's important. And it's, it, it's kind of confusing for people when they hear this, because a lot of people, even twin flame people are like, oh, you need to give. You're closed off. You need to give, 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 give. Well, you know, there's two sides to that. There's truths in, in both sides of it. You do need to be open. You do need to give love to them, but you can do that from afar. You can do that from your mind, from your heart. Okay. If you are going to drop everything and, and, and meet up with your partner, even if you're not ready, let's say your partner out of the blue wants to see you or whatever, you know, spontaneously, they're just like, let's hang out and you're feeling drained. You're feeling like you have to, so much to do and you really, but you're just going to drop anything because you're worried, you know, oh, well, well, maybe they'll just go out with somebody else, you know, if, if I don't hang out with them today, you know, no, you know, don't, don't drop everything and, and do that. You need to, you need to worry about yourself first and know that they'll still be there and they'll, they'll respect you and they'll miss you and they'll love you even more and their love will grow because they know you're strong. They know, I mean, tell them, be honest, tell them nicely. You can even, you know, make some kind of compensation, you know, get a little flirty on the phone if you know what I mean. Something like this to, you know, that doesn't take as much time if you don't have time. You know, this is just an example, but this is one of the things that I'm realizing you, you just cannot bend over backwards and neglect yourself. So many women, so many females, feminines. You don't have to be female to be feminine. All of the above. They do this. They're scared. They're operating out of fear. They're not operating out of love. If you're not ready to see your partner, don't worry. Don't, don't fear. Never do not fret. Okay. Again, it's got to be out of passion. What you, what you do, what you do with your life, what you do with your partner, what you do anything what you do period you gotta you gotta want it you gotta be passionate about it otherwise don't even bother and if you you know even with the mission part and the oh you know we're working on ourselves we're making our life better we're getting better at our you know our trade or whatever it is here i mean obviously we're gonna have to spend some time working making money doing the things we don't necessarily want to do but don't get like obsessive about that and don't get off track sometimes it's so easy for us to like be working 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 and then it's like 
oh, we just get sucked into it and then we get off course and then all we want to do is just go home and, you know, um, watch TV and zone out and not do any of our work. We need to stay on the course. Okay. And this is what you have to carry this passion with you at all times. Okay. This passion, remember right now is, it's not just for your partner, but it's caught up in this. Okay, this is how it was. It's caught up in this. You follow that passion. You keep that passion with you. Again, you're taking a little break at work. You're, you are uh, supporting yourself. You are doing some meditation, some breathing, just some deep breaths. Some, some, this is why I, I come and do this on my lunch break. Because I don't want to go too many hours. Eight hours is a long ass time to be at work, right? I don't want to go too many hours without checking in with my spirit guides. Without checking in with you guys. Without checking in with myself and my twin flame energy here that I'm putting out. Okay? It's a really good read so far. I wish I could make it longer. <laughs> okay. So, ooh, yes. Sorry, I need a little drink here. So now we have the star. Okay. This is you. This is you manifesting everything. Everything you want. Giving, giving, giving. This is not a... This is like... It's funny that we go from this to this. We're dropping this stuff. We're setting it down and we're realizing all this abundance is waiting for us. If we'll only open our eyes and see. If we'll only look the other way, the, the other direction that, that we've been looking. Now we know. Now we're chasing our dreams. We're following um, our hearts and we're going into our intention here. We're actually manifesting a lot. And again, this is not just your, yeah, you're manifesting your twin flame. You're also manifesting your beauty, your uh, mental. You're manifesting your feelings. You know, you're manifesting, I mean, I think mainly, yeah, twin flame and um, twin flame and mission. And, and you give and you give, but you're never depleted. And you're giving to the world. You are helping other people by helping yourself. That's what makes you, and you're, you're she's wearing white and all this light is because her intentions are so pure. She knows that by supporting herself first and focusing on herself focusing on love that she is helping others and she gets feedback from them and that strengthens her even more and it makes her feel even more she is a light in this dark dark world the star is you know burns bright it's a beacon i mean the gray stars the the north star and all of that the, they're leaders for people star seeds this is what we are and this is all tied up together you have to know you have to understand don't think a lot of us are like oh you know a lot of people who are like in twin flame relationships, like I said before, you have this back and forth, you have this drama and people, people, the society tells you that if you have that within a relationship that you're toxic, that's a toxic relationship. Relationships should be happy at any given second. Okay. So then what happens? Well, these people stay together. They live in the same house for 50 years. And then by the time, you know, they hate each other because they tie, they share everything. They are oversharing. Uh, what is it? Oh, what's that Bible quote? I always forget this. Um, or I always... I always think of this um, and I always remember and I'm remembering right now complacency what is it familiarity breeds contempt there's a couple different saying of ways to say it but that's what I was thinking of too much you know you don't need to be joined to the hip every single day you can breed some mysteriousness you know you can be apart a little bit and then come back together and and whenever we go through these periods where we come apart I mean, you don't maybe want to go through all that drama like all the time. But when we do, when we do that, it doesn't necessarily mean it's toxic. For me and my twin flame over these past 10 years, I mean, yeah, we've had some bad times. But we've had some really amazing times. And we've also grown so much more than just like soulmate. Oh, person who's just like, you know, going through the motions and not really. They're just like, they're just like contempt. Not contempt. They're just like complacent, you know. Oh, they got their house. They got their ring. Now that they got their ring on their finger and their little paper that says they're married from the government. Okay. Well, they don't need to do anything else. They don't need, they can go to church on Sunday, give a little bit of tithing and they don't even need to do any spiritual work. No, what? That is not the purpose of life. Okay. That is not really helping people really, truly, deeply. Okay. Doing the twin flame journey 
and doing the law of attraction and doing the shadow work and the, the switch work, the shadow work and inner child healing, as I call it. I created that to be able to talk about it quickly. And I love it because it's so deep. You flip the switch, switch, switch it up. Help the world. Okay. All right. So let's clarify this a little bit more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got, I think we got like all the positive, the really, really positive lovers cards here. Again, we get the four of wands. This is like, he wants you. He wants you back. He wants to see you. He's got that passion for you. Passion is burning every day. Okay. And you guys are like going into the depths. You know, you're again, like this light is around you two. Okay. And she's on the horse. She's the one who's going. She's the one who's leading. She's the one. He's he's going after her. He's looking up to her. She's doing the work. She's, and, and I say she, just for the sake of ease of conversation here. The feminine could be a female, could be a male. You know, regardless of whether same sex, whatever sex, gender, doesn't matter. It's like time. Doesn't matter. It's not of consequence. It's what's in here. It's And we both have both. So it's... It really is what you are at any given moment, what you're feeling at any given moment, what you're um, more embodying any given moment. But in a relationship, most of the time, there's a steady, a kind of a steady, you know, one who is a more masculine energy and one who is a more feminine energy. Okay. So, yeah. She's going within. She's doing the work. She's setting her intentions as the star. You know, she's com she's coming into this even more. This is showing me, like... Excuse me, I did that backwards. She's on the horse. The horse, even though he's like standing there, the horse is still kind of, it, it's moving. It's moving into being a better manifester, being able to manifest, being able to shine, being able to shine your light more brightly in every way too. There's not just one star. Like this is a whole cycle. This is shining in every single way. You know, you're not making people jealous. You're showing them what they can do, what is possible in this world. You're showing them the abundance that they can reach out and grab. Just like taking a star, you know, just like, oh, just take a star out of the sky. You know, that's what it's about. So get excited, you know, embody that teenage, you know, type of love, like, oh, passion, excitement. Like, what am I going to do with my life? What am I going to, you know, when am I going to see my partner? Like, I can't wait to see my partner. Like, Embody all of these positive emotions. Embody this, you know, know that you are safe too. You're protected. The universe is protecting you in so many ways here, especially when you are expressing yourself. When you have done this work, when you do the work, when you figure out what you really want to do and you're really shining your light, this is you. She's playing the music. That's the music. That's your song. That is what you are doing. That's your, your passion. That's your purpose. And she's she's very comfortable doing this and and she's protected and she's helped and she and she feels great because she's doing what you know you're doing what you want to do or you will be you know and again you're showing others the light even if you think nobody's watching you are sh shine your light bright you know it's like all these old cliches but it's like pull them together you know they're not just like disconnected okay Get excited, stay excited, whatever you have to do. Work on your purpose every day, okay? If you feel stuck, if you feel tied down, ask your guides for help and just realize ultimately it's up to you to drop the blindfold, drop the veil. It's up to you. Your guides will help you. As soon as you put that intention out there, you have to ask. You can change your thoughts. You can change your, your life. You got to change your thoughts and then your emotions and then your actions. And then your life will change. You do that repetitively over and over and over. It's not going to happen in one day. You're not going to completely change your whole entire life after watching a couple of videos. Keep on going. And a lot of these videos, like I'll watch some of, um, you know, like these no communication videos like Sophia Charles or whoever. It's like, I'm, I'm in communication. I'm always in communication with my, with my person. Like we don't go. We've never gone very long at all, you know, without talking and even seeing each other. But, um, you, I'm oh, sorry, I forgot where I was going with that. Your guides will help you to get back into that. 
you are, you know, sometimes it's, sometimes you go through those periods where you're not together, where you haven't seen them, where you don't know what they're doing and you're wondering. And it's these thoughts, these thoughts, once they get going, they just create more and more and more, more and more negativity. Don't buy into it. Just let it slide away. Let it fall away. Visualize it. Say it. Put it out there. Again, ask for help. You'll get what you want. Okay? Anything else that you would like to tell the dear twin flame, divine, uh, excuse me, divine feminine for this weekend, this upcoming week? Any messages before we go? Yeah, you are changing your thoughts. You're in the process of really changing the way you think, the way you believe, the way you look at the world, the way you look at yourself, the way you look at your partner, the way you look at your purpose. All of this is changing right now and for good reason. And 2020 is coming up, you guys. Get ready. You know, I, I've said for a month now, oh, get ready. September 13th, September 13th. This is bringing in some awesome things, especially if you're doing the work, especially if you're having positive thinking, especially if you're focused on the positive feelings you stay focused on these positive feelings you stay focused on what makes you happy you're going to get so much you're going to get so much. i mean look, this is some of the most beautiful atmosphere don't you just love that i love like it reminds me of the galaxy like the world the whole entire galaxy is like yours it's yours it's like the whole world in your hands you can have anything you, it's like you could have anything you want but it's like also you have you have a purpose and it's just ultimately like uncovering it sifting through the fog to like figure it out and then shining your light through the fog through the, the cold dark world you know and and bringing this world back to where it should be which is beautiful mysterious loving warm embracing world it's all about helping others but it's also about you too it's also about feeling good it's also it's just all it's all good you know life is good look around you know we, we get so like we look down you know we're always looking at our computers or our phones or we're looking down 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 see people on their walks and I even do do it sometimes like staring at their phone why there's why they're on this walk and they could be taking in the beautiful sights and sounds and really this is stuff like that is very healthy for us like on so many levels we don't even know like scientifically how but it's good for your eyeballs it's good for your you know it, it, fresh air seeing new things, getting out of that, I mean, the routines are great for stability and all this stuff, but sometimes you gotta go see some new sights together. You gotta see some new horizons, go see the sunset and rise over different places. It does, it does great things, you know, for your mind, for your body, your soul. The big wide world out there. And again, it's like, it's in, it's in your reach, it's in your grasp, it's in, it's, it, it's right, it's in your hands, you know? When you are in touch with your feelings, when you are following your feelings, your feelings are a guide. I keep saying that too. Like your feelings will lead you. You're in touch with your feelings. That's so many people are out of touch, out of touch with their feelings. They don't even know why they're feeling something because we're so brainwashed. It's not your fault. It's not anybody's fault. I mean, any more than anybody else. You know what I mean? This is about social conditioning, you know, and we're made to be in fear. We're made to be self-conscious, insecure. We're made to be just literally operating out of fear every single day. Fear of running out of money. Fear of this and that. That's not how we're supposed to live. We are supposed to be happy about this, happy about that, happy about love, happy about, you know. And if you are having tower moments, if you're not in the right place right now, don't worry. You don't have to, you don't have to feel, you still feel the feelings. You're going to go through up and down. You're not always going to be able to be like, okay, let's be fake and positive and happy like every second of the day no you feel the feelings and then you move on you feel the feelings you get the lesson and then you get the good and then you move on and you figure out how to make it better you have the power okay so divine feminine i really hope that this has helped you in some way shape or form and you know also here's one thing to to leave on here say thank you even for the negative times say thank you to god the universe the angels yourself your partner whatever however all of the above like whatever however you want to see it thank you thank you for the lessons even if you haven't got the lessons even if you haven't like enacted the lessons thank you thank your guides all the time thank your angels and your spirit guides and god and universe however again however you want to see it you know thank that tree for giving you shade 
thank your phone, you know, thank your yourself, thank your partner. The more you have gratitude in your heart, the more, the better you're going to feel. And again, we've talked about how your feelings are so connected to your mission and your person and everything else. It's just so important because your feelings are like a magnet. It's a very strong magnet too. The more passionately you're feeling something, the more faster you want to deal with it. And that's basically all the switch work is, is like figuring out what you're feeling on the inside and what feelings need to be dealt with right now. If you don't have a lot of time, you know, what's a little thing? What's a little thing I can work on? How do I feel? Just check in with yourself. And then you switch it around. How is this true? How is this not true? Play, the, play with the opposites. Say it, turn it around and say it in as many opposite ways as you can. Sometimes you can switch it four ways. Sometimes you can switch it six or more ways. And you can always learn from those and see what truths, what truths pop up for you. Oh, my partner's doing this. It's making me very mad. Okay, well, how am I doing that? How are they not doing that? How are they, how am I wrong in thinking that? How am I believing that that's true? Anyway, I'm going to go. Happy Friday. Happy weekend. Thank you so much for being here. All the likes, all the comments, all the support, shares subscribes, etc. And I will be coming back with some more videos for you guys really, really soon. So take care. And uh, again, I'll see you soon. Bye.